Hello! Good morning from Oklahoma City. Good evening po sa inyong lahat dyan. So, mag-hello-hello na po kayo. Hi! Hello. How's your morning, honey? That's great. I just got me a nice cup of coffee. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. So, let's see who will be the first one. Melanie wow! Melanie Barcenas Fabria. Hello, Miss Melanie Barcenas Fabria. So, you won... 5,000 pesos. Wow! Ang galing-galing. It's so, it's so early here in Oklahoma. That's a, that's, that's yeah. a, I tell you what, it, it might be evening where Melanie is, but that's a heck of a way to end the day. I know. Saying hi. Okay. Just so, saying hi. Hello po sa inyong lahat. I missed you. Yes. Hi, Mega Alta. Hello, yes. Hi, Kim Blagantio. Hi. Hi po, dog. God bless. Hi, Nilo, Elim Bolo. Hi, Doc. Crystal K. Hi, hi din po sa inyo. Yan. You won 5,000 pesos, Miss Melanie Barsenas Fabria. Very Hello, Jover from Cebu. Yes. And Crystal K. Yes. Hi, Miss Lily. Hi, Miss Lily Jago Toralba. I miss you already. Yes. Hello, Georgette. Okay. So before we start, we'll do a disclaimer first. No okay. problem. It's <clears throat> always there, honey. It's always we have, there. We have to always do it's the always disclaimer do this. because uh, this is very important. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I need you all to listen to the disclaimer. Okay. All right. The watching and interacting with this video does not constitute or initiate a doctor-patient relationship with Dr. Farah Augustine Bunch. The information being presented by Dr. Farah should only be considered for education and entertainment purposes only. If you feel that anything you see or hear may be of value to you on this broadcast or on any website or other medium of any kind associated with Dr. Farah, you are encouraged to and agree to consult with a licensed healthcare professional in your area to discuss it. Okay, so it's actually a good disclaimer and I want to break it down, okay, for everyone to understand, okay. This is only for educational and entertainment purposes only, okay. We do not in any way tell, tell people do not go see your doctor. No, you see your doctor. If you are sick, you see your doctor. Yep. I want everyone to know that. Okay, because a lot of people, a lot of chismes is coming out that I'm not telling people <clears throat> not to see their doctors. No, not true. You have to go see your doctor if you are sick. Okay, and me, I'm a medical doctor, so again, you see a medical doctor. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start. Hello, so we're gonna start a couple of days ago. I had a, I had a post about how Christ changed her life because mm -hmm. this week okay tomorrow primarily tomorrow it's gonna be good friday okay for us jehovah's witnesses it's actually a memorial memorial tomorrow so thank you for participating in all of the the contests that i'm giving you so i'm gonna be reading one of them are you excited Anna? i'm excited i haven't seen it okay so this is so miss glory mill arenas parañas so you won five thousand pesos okay so this is her story. And for those of you that uh, don't understand Tagalog, just be patient. This will just take a moment. Okay. So this is Gloria Miel Arenas Paranas. This is her story. So five years ago, negative po akong tao. Walang tiwala sa sarili, ingitera, kuripot, o maramot. Walang pakialam sa iba at mareklamo sa buhay. Hanggang July 2014, na-diagnose po ako na may brain tumor at nalaman po namin ito sa MRI. August 2014, na-operahan po ako at naka-recover. Binigyan po ako ng second life. Okay, thank you Lord. Simula po noong 2015, in-invite po ako sa parokya namin, Prex Seminar. Simula po noon, naging volunteer collector po ako sa church namin up to now at unti-unti na po akong nagbago. Naging positibo na po akong tao. Nagkaroon ng tiwala sa sarili, tumatag sa lahat ng pagsubok sa buhay at masalo po akong naging malapit sa Diyos. Naging devotion ko na rin po ang pag-share sa FB account ko ng Catholic Daily Reflections. One year ko na po itong ginagawa at ipagpapatuloy ko po habang may buhay ako bilang pagpapasalamat sa pagkakaroon ko po ng second life at sa lahat ng mga blessings na natatanggap ko sa araw-araw. Thank you, Lord. Thank you po, Dr. Farah. 
nakatanggap din po ako ng blessings na galing sa inyo. Sa tulong, okay? Sa tulong po ng mga herbal at Boston si and vitamin C na wala po yung Bell's palsy ko. Natatandaan niyo pa po ba ako? Okay, I can I can remember you and I'm gonna show you her picture later. Nagkita po tayo noong August 2018, bago po pinasara ang clinic ninyo. Nabigyan po ako ng freebies. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you always po, Dr. Farah. So this is her picture. Ayan. Okay. So Glory Mill. Okay, thank you for sharing your stories. Actually, when have have had you had the chance to read on all of those? I've been a little busy comments. with something else I'll talk about. Okay, but most of them, they're really interesting and they're not really interesting, but they are inspirational. Inspirational, absolutely. Yeah, because most of them, they were left by their families, okay? So they had separation issues, they were sick. Um, they had so many problems, uh, family, financial, emotional, mental. And the thing is, the most important thing is that they got close to, to Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They got closer. And uh, tomorrow, because that's our memorial, that's gonna be how we will commemorate the death of uh, Jesus Christ, which is a ransom sacrifice for the, the sins of the many. So please, yung iba naman, like with the Catholics right now, I think they have their, their certain um, traditions. Mm -hmm. So most of them, mm -hmm. they don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, but this is the, the time for us to reflect the good gift that Jesus Christ, uh, that Jehovah gave us, the good gift, which is the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, I hope everyone uh, loved and enjoyed that, uh, that testimonial, not really a testimonial, but a story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much, Miss Glory Mill. You won 5,000 pesos. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do the news updates first. Sure. Okay. So any <clears throat> news updates, honey? Well, it looks like the customs irregularities uh, are being taken care of now. We had to get uh, people all the way up to the vice president level of FedEx, which is the largest shipping company in the world, to deal with the irregularities in customs there in the Philippines. But thank you, customs. Thank, thank you. you very thank you. much thank you, for customs. your help. We completely understand because obviously they, and they said there is significant pressure being applied to them at the highest levels of FDA in the Philippines, which mm. came as no surprise. But thank you, thank you very much, thank customs. You, thank, you, customs. thank you, customs. Thank you very for... much, US FedEx and Philippine FedEx. Thank right. you very much for helping all of the clients of Dr. Farah receive their um, minerals, vitamins, Correct. and mineral supplements. Thank you po sa inyo lahat. And in, kind of in line with that, uh, you know, the, the thing is the fight never ends because as well, our merchant processor who basically handles, you know, credit card transactions and such for us, uh, to the best of our knowledge, was threatened with closure in the Philippines and it came at a very high political level there. Uh, so that issue as well is uh, being investigated and taken care of. Um, uh, our website was redirected yesterday for 12 hours. So yeah, again, but it's live right now. It's live now. The fight, the fight never ends. Uh, I, I would, I noticed lately um, that the Philippine press, <clears throat> no, namely the, the, hold on, the, okay. the Inquirer and uh, DOH, mm -mm. they're, they're trying to denigrate unnamed nutrition products for claiming to cure cancer, saying mm -hmm. that their evidence of uh, testimonials is anecdotal. I noticed they didn't name us, because first of all, um, when you use the word anecdotal, that means without evidence. Um, and so what I thought I would do uh, in the coming week, a week or so, I'm going to put all of the test data up from uh, UP Dilliman, demonstrating the effectiveness of the product. I'm going to put up the press releases demonstrating the effectiveness of the product. And I'm going to put up all the science for it as well. Mm -hmm. Because you guys want to start talking anecdotal, then uh, you're talking my language right there. In fact, mm -hmm. there were two undersecretaries from the Department of Health who both came to our facility, which you can see their photos on Facebook. And they had reviewed patient records and results there and were absolutely astounded at what they saw. Um, so... I don't think they're talking about us. Mm -hmm. well, well, herbal medicines, okay. Um, me, I have always advocated the use of whole uh, herbs, okay? Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes if you ask me, like, doctora, is this capsule okay? Is this capsule okay? Okay, 
I have never asked anyone to use the capsules, okay? I have always asked people, kung pwede, you can get uh, the, these herbs from the plant itself. That's why th whenever you would come mm -hmm. before in my facility, I would always have those plants there yeah. that we are selling. Yeah. And those are the ones that you can brew, okay? You can grow them in your garden, you can brew them, okay? So this is the ones that I advocate, okay? Mm -hmm. I advocate farming, I am an advocate for environment, for, for good environment, for maintaining the cleanliness on, of the environment. That's what Dr. Farah is, And okay? for good nutrition. And the ones that I give my uh, my clients, okay? The, one, the suggestions, the suggestions uh, that I tell all of my clients, these are all proven, okay? There are a lot of research that has been uh, published here in the U.S. And in the Philippines. Okay, and in the Philippines as well. That's actually in one of their book, PITAC. The, the PITAC book. PITAC has a book. Two. PITAC, which is, what is PITAC? Philippine, Philippine Institute, Institute of Traditional, Traditional and Alternative Healthcare. Alternative itself. Healthcare, okay. They have a book, and this two, book actually, they have two books, and this book actually, it's, it won a lot of awards, okay? Mm -hmm. It won one of the best healthcare award in, uh, uh, in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. This was done by UP. So these are all scientific, this has all has scientific basis. No. Dr. Annabel, hello po, Fabiana de Guzman, okay? So she will tell you that some, some of the herbal medicines if not all, because it's too many, we have around twenty thousand herbal medication, herbal medicines, plants. herbal medicine, medical plants in the Philippines, and just a few of them has been studied. Okay, so they have scientific basis. Hindi naman pwede na magtatro ka jan, okay, dun sa mesa kaya ng that you will harm them. You don't wanna harm people. No. You wanna help them. Okay, no. so like with guava. <laughs> Do you know that guava leaves can stop, can arrest, okay, can arrest diarrhea by 95%? Proven yun, proven yun. Like ginger, okay? Mm -hmm. Ginger, it has ginger roll. It has been used thousands of years. Honey, okay, even the Egyptians, the Egyptians have been using honey, oh. okay, as an antibacterial, antifungal, uh, again, anti-inflammatory, anti-acne. What, what you have to understand though is this is coming from the DOH, mm -hmm. which rolled out um, the Dengvaxia debacle, which has led to mm -hmm. a significant number of uh, you know children dying, mm -hmm. and so you know was this done with ample study? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. why not? Why not name what is anecdotal? Why not name who is anecdotal? Why not name what is harmful? Actually, I'm always in the library here in, in Oklahoma, and if you see, there's thick books of um, of herbal medicines here and. It has all the as research. As thick as some people's faces. Yeah. <laughs> it has all the research there, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably one time I will show everything to all of you so you know. And this is what I have been always. When I was in, in my country, in mm -hmm. the Philippines, when I was there, okay, because I'm a medical doctor there. Here, I'm not a medical doctor and I do not practice medicine here, okay. When I was in the Philippines, um, uh, I, I have been, I have always advocated. I have always told people, okay, if you really want, I said, I can show you. I can show you how to use it, what's the effect, you know, and what's going to be the result. It's all there, you mm -hmm. know. I can show everyone. And I think uh, it still stands there, you know. It's still out there that if you want, if you really want to debate on it, Okay. Let's debate. Let's debate. Let's do this. Okay. Or not really debate. Just no, no, I don't, I have to no tackle problem. about. I have no problem debating. Yeah, with folks to about tackle it. about it about this because we want the Filipino. We want the best for the Filipino Correct. people. Okay, especially most of them, they're sick. Okay, they're poor. They do not have the money. Like, like for example, okay. someone that is continuing the fight against the oppression from FDA uh -huh. uh, is. Not only Congressman John Bertiz, but uh, June Aguilar. Mm. I mean, these are guys that basically they're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you guys how it is. They're being told by FDA, back off. Why are you doing this? Why are you continuing to come after us? Mm. So and thank they, you, and, and, and thank, thank you, Congressman Bertiz and, 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 and Sir and, June Aguilar. And they thank said, you very what, much. what you did is wrong, and we're not going to stop fighting for the Philippine people to have their mm -hmm. choice. Mm -hmm. In fact, I believe. 
if I've, I've been informed, I, I need to actually investigate this a little bit further. Uh, but the senior enforcer for FDA who had illegally closed us, uh, General Bantolo, to the best of my knowledge, I was told he fled the country due to an investigation into payoffs and corruption. Mm -mm. That's, I don't know if that's a cheese I, I, mean, I, I don't that, know if it's a boss. I don't know if that's true or not. I would, I would love to find that out, actually. Okay. So thank you very much again to wrap this up. Thank you very much, oh, Con Congressman oh. Bertiz thank you, Congressman and Bertiz uh, Sir June, June Aguilar. Aguilar. Thank you for fighting for the, thank you for fighting for for the, the Filipinos. For the choice uh, to choose. For the choice to choose natural medicine versus conventional medicine it, this is actually this is not really a fight you know it's, it, it's not really a fight it's a choice just really to give choice to so many people because you know that's what we really want mm -hmm. okay for for everyone like like with so many things in our life you know if we are being forced to do a certain things in our life that we did we do not want we just want a freedom to choose yeah so we just want the freedom to choose and that's and we are so happy because you are fighting for the filipino people so thank you very much in case you uh you hadn't heard uh to the uninitiated uh, dr farah is on Amazon now. Mm -hmm. The largest retailer in the world now carries Dr. Farah products. So mm -hmm. if you cannot see me at drfarah.com, you can always see me at Amazon. So I'm there right now. And also we have uh, two websites, okay, the drfarah.com uh, brilliant skin essentials so that's care of glenda victoria so thank you miss glenda so i miss you already that's for ordering in the philippines um yes. bostonc.com for ordering in uh, you can use that in the u.s europe central america yes um and as well uh, we are i believe the we're shipping today to the distributor in hong, hong kong, kong and china, and china. So for all of the OFW there in Hong Kong and China, hello po sa inyo lahat. I think China, China is a great nation. China and Hong Kong, they're all uh, both great nations. And thank you for welcoming Dr. Farah. Okay, so the man for this job is Mr. Gilmatani. <laughs> hello, Sir Gilmatani. China's great. They're, they're very good at building islands. <laughs> Okay, yan. Okay. Nag-joke lang si Sir Jack. It's just a joke. <laughs> so anyway, they have a website, Dr. Farah's Products, okay? Uh, Hong Kong and China. So if you're in Hong Kong and you're in China, please say hello to Sir Gil Matani. We'll okay? publish that. Don't worry. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, we will open, I think, with nine countries, nine countries at the end of the week. So hopefully, mm -hmm. po yan, that we will be available in UK. Australia, uh, New Zealand, um, Hong Kong, China, uh, I think um, Malaysia as well, Singapore, mm -hmm. um, Germany. So, nandiyan po lahat. We, we will all post you know, all of which, that. Which one of the things I have to actually to share is uh, the, the folks that we're working with here in the U.S., um, they find it very easy to do business with us and to do business in every single country in the world except one. What is that? That's Phil. Ah, okay. So, but hopefully, you know, it will change yeah. because we, al we, change. Al we always want change, especially for my country. I just want it better for people. That's all. Yeah, especially for my country, you know, I, I, I want change, good change for my country, you know. Um, And the thing is, we're still hopeful. We're still hopeful that it's going to happen. We were just talking to people in, in, in uh, mm -hmm. worship the other day and they were talking about Filipinos and they said, you know, they are just some of the happiest people they've ever seen in the world. Just Constantly always smiling. happy, always smiling, and I agree. And you know, we we do we're just trying to help the Filipino to live a better life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the customer service assistance still. If you have any problems, Kenjaya Evangelista, Evangelista, Princess Vailoses, Chris Eris Vinson, Sheila Manalese, or Goten Colliado, they're all available there, okay? So please go join my group. It's a cancer patient support group. There is Gil Matani. Yes, hi! Okay, so the 
join my group, also join the group of uh, Miss Glenda, and also join the group of Sir Gil Matani. Okay, mm -hmm. so for all of your questions today, I will answer all of your questions. The books and Amazon, working on that one, uh, Greece and Jess. We want to get books and Amazon, so I will talk to Chi uh, Gutierrez. Balma, Chi, oh. give Balma, Balma say the Gutierrez about that. Okay, so we're going to be answering questions today. So yeah. throw me all of the questions and I will try to answer all of them. Okay, so Norge Alisa said, Doctora, ano po bang mabuting inumin ng my breast cyst? Thank you po. Okay, so there was a research about breast cyst. Not only breast cyst, but ovarian cyst, polycystic uh, kidney disease. And it has been linked to a deficiency in iodine, okay? So if you have any cyst in any of your body, the best thing to do is to eat foods that are rich in iodine. So what are these foods that are rich in iodine? Iodine, honey. Um, well, a lot of people would say, well, I'll just get more iodized salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, but kelp. Okay. Kelp is one. Kelp, nori. Oh, mostly these are seaweeds and seafoods, okay? So, but the problem with iodized salt is that uh, it evaporates, okay? So when you open it up, you use it, it evaporates immediately. 50% is actually gone after that. So it's always better to use seaweeds, okay? Seaweeds always, okay? So next question, okay? Dito sa Pinas, kung saan nagmula si Doktora, dito pa sila nahihirapan. I know, I'm. it's so sad, right? You know, in, in the country that you have, the, that I grew up, the country that I loved, you know, the Dr. Farah products are not welcome. So, I hope uh, President Duterte, oh, ayan na naman, Dr. Farah, you're always talking about President Duterte. President Duterte, please, you know. Which, as far as he, I know. He should be proud. No, no, everyone should be proud. I mean, the Filipino should be proud because a Filipina, oh, diba, you, have, you have the Miss Universe. Correct. Okay, you have Manny Pacquiao. Correct. Okay, these are the Filipino treasures, Filipino, yeah. Filipino pride. Gabby Conception. Gabby Conception, you know, we, we, we are so Just proud. Tony. Yeah, we are so proud of them. I mean, why can you not be proud of me? Oh, diba? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's what the Americans say. They're like, my God, you got a, you got a Philippine national treasure here. I know, bati bati tayo. Okay, so Leonie Angkeko, wait, Tani, Leonie Angkeko, Tejero, good PM doctora, how to naturally hear esophagitis and colon polyps. Okay, if you want to heal uh, any inflammation, the best thing there is you use ginger. Okay, ginger uh, tea. Okay, so as many as you can. What I, what I have always told uh, some of my clients and uh, uh, all of my friends, okay, is to use it five to seven times higher than the normal okay so this can help with uh, some sort of inflammation mm -hmm. and also for polyps vitamin c okay the best vitamin c again i have I told you um in my research so if you take it at a higher dosage and then you start crapping then it's very good for you vitamin c the first one who did the vitamin study was Dr. Linus Pauling. Yep, which, and, by the way, okay. Dr. Linus Pauling is the only person in history to ever win two unshared Nobel Prizes. Mm, so okay. he's very intelligent. He's, he's yeah. incredibly intelligent. In fact, he has the Linus Pauling uh, Institute. Institute. He, he passed away back, I believe, in 1994, but there's the Linus Pauling Institute at uh, Oregon State University. Mm -hmm. And he did significant studies as far as the benefits of vitamin C on cancer. In fact, I'm going to be releasing some of his. Uh, this is oral, honey. Or, or, oral, oral. 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 You know, the, the, okay. the, the thing is, is, is that the vast majority of science clearly demonstrates that oral vitamin C intake is best. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, uh, there are folks that are going to constantly try and tell you, oh, no, no, you got to do IV this, you got to do IV that. Well, the thing is, we look at the science of everything. Okay. And if the science clearly demonstrates that, for example, oral, is far more preferred over IV, and that's what you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's all about choices again. Again, okay? it's, it's your choice. So you, this is you can follow the science, or you can follow, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I have always all the people that have been following me. Okay, these are their choices. Okay, even the ones that put their testimonials there outside. These are the words of the of the clients. It's not my word. Okay, no. so don't be upset with me. Oh. <laughs> 
You know, and some the people they is, are upset with me. That's another thing. They want to say that testimonials are anecdotal. Okay, well, how many testimonials do you need? Mm -hmm. You know, because the thing is, beyond the testimonial, what about the test results? And when, you're, when you're showing yeah. a when you're showing a PET scan with cancer throughout the body, and then you have a clean PET scan or a what's, psoriasis. What's anecdotal about that? Yeah, did you see that? That's, did, that's what's called evidence. Did that's you see that? Admissible. Yeah, did you see that, friends? You know, I think there was one who posted a, a picture of. Uh, her back you know it's actually very interesting okay i'll try to look at it it's it's very interesting and you know i hope you would see that but it was just so amazing it's just amazing i cannot believe that someone did that using olive oil diba olive oil and white vinegar oh diba oh yeah diba that's amazing oh why won't you be to why won't you be happy? And this is after application of two of only two weeks. Vinegar and olive oil. But that's anecdotal. Diba? Interesting. That's okay. exactly what the person did, but I'm sorry, the, the evidence is anecdotal, right? Okay. So probably they they really do not know what's the meaning of anecdotal. I I, I think that <laughs> someone should actually send a Webster's dictionary over to DOH so that they understand <laughs> the definition of anecdotal. Yeah. So, okay. So, someone is asking, Lawina is asking about blister eczema. Okay. So, blister eczema, you can probably use what he did, what this person did. Oh, okay? wait, wait. Quick shout out to Tara Bunch. Okay. Hello. We love Ms. you. Tara, we love you. Don't be upset. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you can probably use that, which is white vinegar and olive oil. Or if you don't have any olive oil, coconut oil is always the best. Okay, so uh, another question. Another one I saw was endometriosis, okay. mom. One was asking, is it true that endometriosis is incurable even through surgery? Well, what is endometriosis, ba? So these are endometrial glands outside the endometrium. Okay, so endometrial glands outside the endometrium. So you can see them in the ovary, ganyan. So if you look at them, they look like chocolate cyst. Yeah. So um, is there you can you cure it can you can you can you remove it um if you ask me there are some people that it was it's it's gone some of them just by changing the diet you know and some of that and this i have seen nakita ko po ito in my own eyes so you know if someone would always ask me if if you know when i was younger if probably if you would ask me when i was younger like uh, do you believe that stage for can be cured, I would probably say no. I would have said no back then. Yeah, well. back then. But yeah. if you say it to me, if you ask me right mm -hmm. now, I truly believe that it can be cured. Can and be. If, yeah, it can, it be. can be. You know, yeah. the thing is, uh, when it comes to my wife, have, are you the cure for cancer, mom? No. Have you ever claimed to be the cure for cancer? No. Nope. Have you ever claimed that Boston C is the cure for cancer? No. Okay, so my, my friends at DOH, are we clear on that? Okay. Are we clear? Crystal I don't oil. claim. I don't claim because there are many things I don't know either. Because the thing is, you know, you have to understand. Many factors. Every every patient's different, and many factors can contribute to their success. Mm -hmm. They can be issues of diet. You know, it can be issues of lifestyle change. I mean, for uh -huh. example, if someone is, you know, has lung cancer, one of the best things they can do is to stop smoking. Yes. Or you can drink, you know, asparagus juice or eat asparagus uh, every day. Right, and that may help you. Mm, that may help. You know, I, I don't uh, every day. Actually, there are many things that I discovered that I really do not know. You know, mm -hmm. so because we um, actually study. Yeah, I, I, there are many things I don't know. I don't claim it. After you know, with that cancer patient support group, that's why I encourage all of you to go there because I learned so much there. Well, me also, I'm learning. So thank you very much for making me learn. Well, you've got a groundbreaking article coming out soon as well. Mm -hmm. um, and what, it, what it's basically addressing is the nutrition knowledge of the vast majority of doctors. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, they, they have to know that, you know, we will release that. Okay? We'll release that very so, soon because okay. um, what I can guarantee what the public doesn't know is that the vast majority of doctors get no nutrition training in medical school okay. at all. But that's on a different venue, honey. Different so venue. We'll release that later. Ninyo, 
it's all there. So everyone is asking about fatty liver. Mm -hmm. So again, the fatty liver, it's a first sign of damage, okay, mm -hmm. on the liver itself. So it can occur because of either you're taking alcohol, okay, and then you have the non-alcoholic fatty liver, which you take it because of your diet. You're eating a lot of fructose also, sugar, mm -hmm. so hindi rin yan maganda sa atin, drugs, and it can also be a sign of Oh, cancer as well. So, ayan. So, if you have a fatty liver, but this is a reversible condition. So, it doesn't mean that if you have a fatty liver that you're going downhill. No. It's a reversible condition. You can always change it. Just remove the offending organisms. Garlic, okay? Garlic may help, okay? Just chew a lot of garlic, eat it. And then, of course, my ever favorite, vitamin C, okay? Vitamin C, 5 grams to 20 grams per day. It can help you with the fatty liver. Can. Can, okay. Can. And then after that, so what you can do, so you will know you have an ultrasound or you check your SGOT, SGPT. These are your liver enzymes. And after that, you can take another ultrasound and SGPT, SGOT after one month. So to see if you are uh, already okay. But you have to change the diet. That's very important. Look, you know what, that's what's funny is the biggest thing you advocate is really good nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so for people to denigrate you, it's like, well, what? If you're denigrating Dr. Fair, does that mean you're you, you're against good nutrition? Mm -hmm. You're against a, a really good diet? Mm -hmm. Because that's basically what she does. Well, uh, if you do the Dr. Farah protocol, if you see the Dr. Farah protocol, 50%, uh, okay? And everyone knows there when I was in fail, di ba galit nga kayo sa akin? Because I'm always trying to tell you, you read, write your food. Food so diary. So that nyo, you make a food diary. And some people there, they would be like, they cannot understand why the food is very important. It is very important. So sorry na lang po. And if I'm there, I always tell people you have to follow the food diary. Oh. Kasi nagsasayang ka lang ng oras, you're, you're, you're wasting your time, yeah. you're wasting money, you're wasting everybody else's time and effort as well. If you do not follow a good diet, wala, wala, wala. Well, like for example, if you get a, a really nice car, you know, for example, like... Um, uh, the DOH director has a uh, really nice Lamborghini, I believe. Mm -hmm. If you have a really nice car, um, you're going to put really good gasoline in it, you know? And yet people will cut corners when it comes to the food they put in their body, which is far more valuable than any mm -hmm. Lamborghini. Way tiny. But when, if you have a car like that, you're not going to urinate in the gas tank. So why would you continue to put crap in your body? Mm -hmm. Well, there was actually one there, um, Miss Dali. So she was saying that I, I, I didn't read it out loud because there was just a lot of messages, Miss Dali. So sorry about it. But he said, she said that she, her husband just passed away a month ago and she doesn't advocate. A chemotherapy is that right miss dali yan kasi it, it's just so fast so i'm sorry sorry I'm, po sa inyo. I'm, well hey, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss and yeah. i know that i know that nothing we can say could really bring comfort to you but i, I truly hope that you would find comfort in mm -hmm. the promise of the resurrection yes. and knowing that uh Hopefully, you'll see your husband again. Mm -hmm. so. Hi, Nilo! Ayan, pa shout out daw. Hi, Nilo! Hello, hello, hello sa inyo. Okay, Dr. Farah, ano pong magandang herbal sa blood clot? Sabi ni Di Yi Yang Duque. Nako. Are you a relative of uh, Secretary Duque? <laughs> Speaking of Lamborghinis. <laughs> okay, for her, uh, for clot, okay, ginger, garlic. And these are proven. These are proven that they are, uh, that they are uh, anti-clotting, anti-blood clotting. That's why when you undergo operation, they would always ask you, are you taking ginseng? Because ginseng also can. Ginseng, ginkgo biloba, garlic, ginger. They will have to let you to stop it. Okay, before you undergo an operation because this uh, this prevents blood clotting. So it's very good for you. And that's proven, huh? That's proven. So um, right. just Ms. take Ms. it as many as you can. That's right, Miss Malura Buyas. Make your own food diary. Yeah. You have, oh. to, be, you have to be accountable. Yeah, alam ni Miss Malu yan, Miss Malure Bulyas. Kasi 
she she knows because she was one of my uh, patients back then when I was in Phil. Okay, so she knows that the food diary is very important. Okay, mm -hmm. it depends. You need you you cannot do it without the food diary because you, you so you know the so you know ito yung kamali ko, ito yung kamali, which one is what I'm doing wrong, which one I'm doing right. So it's very very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello po, doctora. Uh, for asthma, sabi ni Miss Carol Evangelisa Losada. I also have uh, bronchial asthma when I was young. When I was young, and uh, I had I had it when I was until sixteen years old. That's why I'm not allowed to tickle her, I'm not. and she doesn't want to hear my jokes. Because I remember my papa back then. My papa back then, um, he told me a very funny story, and then I started laughing so hard, and I laughed and I laughed and. At that, the end of that night, I was in the emergency room because I had an asthma attack. Yeah, because I was laughing so hard. Okay. And the only one that really helped me, my mama, <clears throat> when I was in med school, <clears throat> my mama would get me a lot of tubs of Vicks. Yeah, and Vicks non. <laughs> so I had tub, tubs of Vicks back then. So whenever I would have an asthma attack, I just had Vicks in my chest, in my back. And it really helped me. And of course, honey and cinnamon. Okay, honey, cinnamon, oregano. Mm -hmm. We do not give honey to infants. Okay, less than two years old because of a bacteria known as Clostridium botulinum or botulism, infantile botulism. Okay, so hindi po natin minibay, we do not give that to infants less than 2 years old. Okay, nagkakaliwanagan po tayo. Yan. Pag minsan po nagkakamali ako, please correct me. Okay, I'm not perfect. Okay, uh, to anyone who thinks I'm perfect, I'm not perfect. I think okay. she's perfect. I don't, I don't know a lot of things also. Hindi, ko, hindi po ako nahihiyang sabihin sa inyong lahat that I'm still learning. I think she's perfect. And I'm, I'm, every day I'm still studying. Hindi po ako nahihiya. Okay po. So, amenorrhea. Sabi ni Carl Tansin ko. Ano ba amenorrhea? What's amenorrhea? A means without menstruation. Okay. So, you have to see first. Baka mamaya menopause ka na. Now, if you're not menopause, probably there's a problem in the um, hormone. So you have to have that check, your FSH, LH, okay? So if there's still no problem, you may try uh, the Mung Maria. That's my favorite, the Mung Maria, okay? So make it as a tea, as many as you can. It's very bitter. Again, for pregnant women, bawal sa inyo ang bitter herbs, okay? Because it can cause a uh, uterine contraction. So I don't allow the pregnant woman to drink bitter herbs, okay? But if you want to try other herbs, there are better herbs for the pregnant woman. Just not the bitter herbs. Because the bitter herbs can cause uterine contraction. It's abortifacient. Pwede kayong, pwede kayong mag, ma abort So wag kayong iinom ng ganyan. And if you're planning to abort, masama yan. That's bad. That's bad. We have to cherish our lives because it was given to us by Jehovah. Okay. Quick, so, quick trivia. Quick okay. trivia. Oh, quick trivia daw, sabi ni Sir Jack. Get ready to take a picture, Mom. I want to see the first person answers this, okay? Okay. First person to answer. Quick trivia. Okay. Uh, are you guys ready? There's going to be 5,000 pesos to whoever gets Ooh. this right. Steve Anderson, you are not eligible to play. Neither are you, Paul Dean. <laughs> you guys will know this. The okay. Tara Bunch, you're not eligible either. Uh, in what city? If she knows. In what city, basically, do all three Back to the Future movies take place? In, what, in which? In what city? In what city? All city thou. In what city do they all take place in the movies? Ooh, let's see. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Sagot na. That's right, Tara Bunch. Dang it. <laughs> you know that. Hi, Isa Perez. How are you po? Bugs Bautista. No, nope, uh, not New York. But hello to New York. Yeah, Sire Hawate, New York. No, I don't know. They said it's not New York. I know you know it, Tara Bunch. You cannot answer, though. Hi, Miss Lily. Again, Esperanza Ochoa. Sean Prisa Testado. Woohoo! You are correct. Hill Valley. Hill Valley, where's Hill Valley? Well, it's a mythical town in 
set oh, in California. Okay. That's why I did, I did not get it because it's a Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> New York. Sabi ni si Dayal. Boom. Okay. Hill Valley, California. Hill Valley. Like uh, like uh, former Governor Schwarzenegger would say, California. Yeah. Hill Valley, so, California. Congratulations. congratulations. Sean Criza Testado. You won 5,000 pesos. So later you can, you can, uh, uh, Sir Jack will be the well, one to contact I'll be, I'll be contacting you after the, uh, after the, after the broadcast. Okay. So Hannah Abigail for aggressive type <laughs> of, sorry, <laughs> for aggressive type of psoriasis. Ano po ang gagawin sa olive oil? Again, you put white vinegar first. So white vinegar, and then after that, you put uh, olive oil. Hello, so let's see. It's also good if you take a picture before and after. Okay, and then it's better if you share it with me. Okay, masaya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I know also because I really enjoy them. You, mm -hmm. you know, it brings a smile in my face. Like every day, if I see someone who was helped not only by the doctor by dr farah but who was helped by natural medicine itself because in your passion ko, that's our passion you know natural medicine while we are still in this world okay i tell you the one that i really like are the letters of support that we get from other doctors yes when they'll basically send you a letter and say you know i had a patient that followed your protocol and this is what happened and they're just simply amazed um, I know it means a lot to you. Yeah, it does. You know, uh, all the love. I think I'm I'm very loved. I I you know all of the the clients, all of my supporters. I love you all. You know, I I'm very very thankful for what you have done uh, for me in the past few few years. You know, you have always been there. So hello, John Sai Jemsk. Hello, Dal. A shout out. Yeah. Jemsk. Yeah, John Sai Jemsk. Yeah. So, how about vertigo? vertigo? Sabi ni si Dayao, boom. So, vertigo, the good thing here is wow. ginger. Ginger tea. Ginger tea is one of the best for vertigo. Or also lemon, okay? If you have the lemon peelings, diba? Tapos amoyin mo lang yun, just smell it. And somehow, it uh, makes you feel better, okay? So, if you're not really into synthetic medicine like me, I don't really like synthetic medicine. Hello, Libby Kala White, watching from Guam. Where is Guam? Hello, Wendy Gwen. Where is Guam? Guam is a uh, U.S. territory out in the Pacific. Out in the Pacific, okay. Years ago, they had How many a... hours is that away from... The from, U.S. Yeah. From here? It's, yeah. it's quite a ways. There's an mm -hmm. air base out there. So maybe I can go see you in Guam, okay? I think there's, I think there's a bowling alley on Guam. Uh, I think that's about it, actually. Uh, a, a runway and a, I think a bowling alley. I'm okay. sorry. I, it's been a long, long time. Doc, may I ask how about to cure the fungus in the lungs? So the more common fungus in the lungs, it's called aspergilloma. Aspergillosis, okay? So sometimes... Uh, what uh, what I tell my my clients there is that they can they can use white uh, they can use apple cider vinegar to drink, they can also use uh, honey and cinnamon. Mega dose vitamin C, of course, the best mega dose vitamin C. Always, if there's one thing that you can drink for me, uh, if there's one thing that I will drink, it's mega dose vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially if you're stressed out. You have so many problems, you know. If your immune system is low, you're always having coughs, colds, and fever. The best thing there is uh, vitamin C for um, me. I saw Irene Buenbiage, I believe, ask about uh, barley powder. Can she take it? And, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. people can do whatever they want. But I know if I had if I had 100 pesos for every time someone had come through uh, at our old clinic and they'd taken kilograms and kilograms of barley, to no effect. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of pesos right now. Well, what is barley? It's a weed. Okay, so if you can grow your own weed, it's better. Oh, ganun naman ako eh. Okay, I don't say no to e no. everything else. No. I just say, if you can grow it, grow it. But let me like ask you they ask me, malunggay, just grow the malunggay, eat it. Have you known somebody that basically consume about a truckload of barley to no effect? I have seen a lot of, not only barley. I have seen a lot of uh, people who have consumed several tons of uh, boxes of uh, 
uh, supplements, herbal supplements without no effect. Which that's another thing I want to address real quick is uh, that of fillers. Okay. Uh, because if without you are, effect. If you are consuming any, any product okay. you want to consume, always look at the ingredients and check if there are fillers. And don't be afraid to look those up. Um, because one of the things that uh, Dr. Fred does not do is she doesn't put anything extra, anything to, to stretch it out, anything mm -hmm. to make it more. Yeah, that's the good thing only, about... Only active yeah. ingredients. Like, for example, your your vitamin C is vitamin C. 100%. 100%. It's 100%. percent i did not put fillers on your, it. Your pixie dust magnesium is the absolute laboratory-grade magnesium. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. And Boston yeah. C has absolutely no fillers at all. Yeah, okay. So, it, there's no fillers in all of my, my products. And you, my they can product. be uh, they can be purchased at uh, drfera.com, D-O-C-T-O-R. Or in Amazon. F-A-R-R-A-H.com or on Amazon.com. Mm-hmm, okay. So, yan po sa inyo. Um, we're gonna ask, we're gonna answer more questions. Okay. Hello in Singapore, Jason Concel. Okay. Marites Cruz, what herbal medicine for multiple myeloma? Please, thank you. Okay. The best there is chichirica. Chichirica, uh, if you have leukemia, leukemia, lymphoma, yan, and multiple myeloma, maganda po sa inyo yung chichirica and guyabano leaves. You have to try it. Okay. If you do not, uh, if you do not have a lot of money for chemotherapy, it's an uh, alternative if you want, if you choose to. Okay, po. I so, just saw a Sydney, Australia. I believe it's a Josephine Tejada. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're working in Australia right now. In fact, mm -hmm. we're working with uh, um, someone. Well, I don't want to say a. Uh, I don't want to say a Australian supermodel, so I won't. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. So, hi, Jessilyn. Hi, Tayan. Hello po sa inyo na sa mga nakikinig. What's the best herbal medicine for mana? Sabi ni. Miss Rose Parks and tanong niya. Okay, if you are having edema, you have to take because your oncotic pressure might be low, okay? Yung pressure po ng ating proteins. So it's better to eat a lot of eggs. And you need a diuretic in the form of lemongrass tea. So it's a good diuretic. You have to use it five to seven times higher than the normal. The problem with some people, that's why they don't see result, is they do not have the maximum amount. So you have like, if you're going to take like lemongrass, not only one, you have to take five. Diba? You, you, you basically five have... Five or seven. You have, you have to use enough to get the job done. Like, for example, you're not going to go bowling at a bowling alley and you and use a baseball. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. It's not going to get the job done. Okay. You need more. You need something bigger. Yes. Hi. Uh, yeah. There's keep, one. I okay. keep seeing someone ask, "What is HIV?" Please, as far as HIV is concerned, please, please do look up HIV on Google. It uh, stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. Mm -hmm. um, Google should be able to provide you all the information you'd ever want about that. Yeah. Okay. So, but it's it's one of the causes of acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, mm -hmm. where your T cells, your T lymphocytes are down, particularly your T helper cells, your CD4 helper cells. So it opens up to a lot of infection if you're HIV positive. So you can have uh, cancer. You can also have uh, fungal infections. A lot of infectious diseases. Okay. And basically, instead of uh, you know spending the time to warn people about uh, herbal medicines, I think the FDA would, or FDA rather, the DOH could better use some of their budget to warn people about the dangers of HIV transmission. Oh yeah, because it's higher now in the field. Not, not telling you how to do your job, but just uh -huh. uh, you know, it's the Department of Health. Maybe you want to be con actually actually concerned about people's health for mm. a change. No, the thing is, it's higher in Phil. Yeah, we is. are we are only one of the few countries. It's a, it's a hotbed where yeah. the rate is increasing every year. We are the only few countries in the world who has a higher rate of HIV. Okay? Marami yan. I, I, the, the thing is uh, because of unprotected sex, okay? Unprotected sexual conduct. So always protect yourself, okay? And be a loyal to your partner. It's the most important, okay? Mm -hmm. So do not screw around. Okay, be nice to your wife or to your husband. Only one. Yan ang pinakamaganda sa atin lahat. Okay? 
So, ano daw, Doc? Ang pong mabuting gamot sa malalaki ang tonsils at nagihilig. Anvik, Lucino, Tangkor. The best is apple cider vinegar. So, one teaspoon, three times a day. That's good to lose weight because most of these people who are always snoring, they're actually overweight. So, it's better for you to lose weight. And again, for your enlarged tonsils, the best is mega dose vitamin C and ginger. That's my favorite, ginger. Okay. So, Hi po, Doc. Sa Hodgkin's lymphoma po. Again, I already tackled this. The best is chichirica tea. Okay, periwinkle. That's in English. You uh, brew them and then you drink three to four times a day. It's also good for hypertension and for cough, uh, periwinkle, and megadose vitamin C. Also, Boston C, if you can afford Boston C, it's good for you. That's my dad's invention and now it's my formulation. Quick shout out okay. to Quick shout out to Aiden Flores and Margie B. Yes, hi Margie B. And don't forget Aiden yeah, Flores. Yeah, Aiden Flores. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Yeah, so thank you po. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always supporting me. You know, for always uh, moderating the doctor for the uh, cancer patient support group. Thank you very much. Kidney stone. So for the kidney stones, again, you have to eat the foods that are rich in magnesium. Okay. And what are the foods rich in magnesium? These are green leafy vegetables. Like sampa sampalukan. And you have a stone breaker, which is sampa sampalukan. So again, if you're going to eat this, if you're going to use it five to seven times higher than the normal, and then you do your ultrasound after one month. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Violeta Charito. Doctor, you look so beautiful. Thank you very much. You look so beautiful as well. Okay? So, Irma Seldran, Doc, okay ba ang boson si sa pulmonary fibrosis? What is fibrosis? What's fibrosis? You're the doctor, MD. <laughs> well, fibrosis, it means it's a scar. Okay? It's a scar. So, lung so, scarring. Lung scarring. So sometimes it sometimes you can see them in the ultrasound, uh, in the chest X-ray. Sometimes you can't see them. Okay, and if it's still there, most probably it will not go away. Most prob most probably it will not go away. Because it's scar na yan eh. Okay, but it's you just you just put it there like. You just have to change your idea on uh, on scars, you know. You just it's just a proof that you have been a better person. <laughs> <laughs> like Sir Jack, Sir Jack has many scars. He would always tell me, "I have many scars here, honey." But it's a proof that he fought for his country. Yeah. So cheer, hello to all of the veterans, especially here in the U.S. You know, thank you very much for fighting for. Um, the American people and, and for all the soldiers in the field. Yeah. Those, well, not only the soldiers in the field, but let's, uh, let's never forget those uh, Americans and Filipinos who fought and died for the freedom in the Philippines. Yes, and also the OFWs, diba? For always. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I cannot imagine being away with my family members. I'm, I'm, as I, I've always said, I think that OFWs are the best of the Filipinos because imagine, if you will, how hard it is to have to leave your family, your, your, your husband or your wife and your kids to go to a foreign country just to work like a dog, mm -hmm. you know, just to be able to provide for them. Mm -hmm. You know, that all that extended time away, mm -hmm. you know, just is so hard. No. So hard. It is. Now, fungus of the ear, though, okay, you can use iodine, iodine drops. That's what I did to Sir Jack because Sir Jack has a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> he has many mushrooms in the ear. Mushrooms and taters. So, <laughs> so what, I always, what I always do is I, I put iodine, iodine drops, and I put it on his ear. And it helps. It helps a lot. And also white vinegar, okay? Pag masakit naman, if it's painful, it's painful out here in the mastoid area, mastoiditis, you can use tea tree oil, okay? You get the tea tree oil, you put it here. Yan, mawawala na yan. Yang ano po ninyo, okay? I just saw gallstones. That one's, that one's really, really easy, guys. If you would, this is a cancer patient support group, and there are significant... Uh, uh, there's a, a protocol for gallstones. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of testimonies of people who've used that, who, who are showing the pictures of their gallstones. Which, by the way, guys, if if you have someone that says, uh, you know, no, the what I'm seeing in the picture is a result of taking uh, olive oil and lemon juice. Really, mm -hmm. if if you want to if you want to try and say that, please demonstrate the scientific basis of how you can make a waxy stone in six hours out of uh, olive oil. 
Mm, okay. So, someone is asking, na hi, doktora, kailan po kayo ulit magkiklinik sa Victoria? Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, have any more clinic in Victoria. Yes, because I already sold the property there. We had to. So, we have to, I have to flee uh, the country. And as of today, uh, I still have threats. I there, still have threats. Let me address that real quick. So, I cannot go back to my country. Yeah. There, sorry po, sorry po sa mga naghihintay sa akin. There, there were a significant number of death threats that were uh, placed against us. In fact, when my wife was actually sitting at the desk of former President Estrada, we got a uh, text message of a death threat while we were still over in the Philippines. So we unfortunately were forced to leave. Uh, we reported these threats to the PNP, uh, who did absolutely no investigation at all. In fact, we alerted them from our local PNP there in Victoria, Tarlac. Uh, they did nothing at all. We uh, alerted all the way up to Albayalde uh, at PNP headquarters, and uh, they again did nothing at all. And uh, wasn't surprised. Well, it's just unfortunate. It's, unfortunate. Yeah, it's okay. It's I mean, okay. Is, though. I, I would love. It's to, okay. I would Don't love to be, be back upset. There. I would love to be back there. I love the Philippines. I love. Yeah, there. I'm so but, sorry. But the thing is, I have to be concerned about the safety of Dr. Fur and the uh -huh. safety of our children. But I'm always here. I will have. Uh, I I will have another website. It's team. It's team Dr. Farah. No, nope, it's. Yeah. <laughs> team Farah. Team Farah. <laughs> we'll save that for another time, huh? Yeah. Save okay. Time. So you will always see me. You will always have access to me. So it's it's I'm really excited about that. So please, 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 please wait for it. Okay. Again, uh, join my support group, Doctor Farah's uh, cancer uh, cancer patients uh, support group. So it's all there. So if you have any questions, I'm always answering. Di po ko pag meron po ko na hindi po na sasagot, pasensya na. I'm so sorry if I cannot answer all of them. But I try to answer most of them. So it's not true that I'm not answering. It's, That's not true at all. Yeah, it's all there. I'm always and in I'm Facebook. I'm not answering it because, again, my, my Tagalog is... Mm. Okay. Hello to Sir Gilma. So if you are in Hong Kong and China, go to Dr. Farah's products, Hong Kong and China. This is managed by Gil Matani. Hello po sa inyo. And if you are in the Philippines, always Miss Glenda Victoria from Brilliant Skin Essentials. Website is Dr. Dat drfara.brilliantskinessentials.ph And if you are in Central America, uh, Central America Mexico, Mexico anywhere, anywhere else, Puerto Rico, Nicaragua, mm, uh, Colombia, go to bostonc.com. And if it's worldwide, it's Amazon. Okay, go there. And drfara.com will be live in nine more countries, nine additional countries. Don't forget about Miriam Franz in Canada. And hello to Miss Miriam, friends in Canada. I miss you so much. Thank you for always visiting me. To the Filipino people, I love you very, very much. You have been a great uh, advocate of Dr. Farah. Uh, again, uh, I wish I'm there. I wish I could go back to my country. Please, 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 please. Always support me. Thank you for all the love that you have given me. And pray for Dr. Farah. Yeah. Say, say, give a prayer of thanks uh, to the ransom sacrificed of our Savior. Yes. And if so, you don't happen to, to is that, if that's not your particular religious affiliation, uh, then just do this. Just be kind to one another. You know, mm -hmm. show love to one another because that's if, if this world could use one more thing, and a lot of it, it's just love. You know, mm -hmm. love thy neighbor. That doesn't that doesn't mean the people that live next door to you. <laughs> that means it means everybody. Just show them the love. Okay. So that's it. Thank you very much. Salat po ng mga nanalo. Sir Jack will be calling you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.